Hidden deep in the jungles of Cambodia's Angkor Archaeological Park, Praia Khan is a vast temple complex sprawling across nearly 140 acres. Built by the Khmer King Jayavarman VII in the late 12th century as a monastery and center for learning, it was once the heart of a city of nearly 100,000. A loss of royal patronage in the middle of the 15th century led to the temple's decline and eventual abandonment. It wasn't until the 1920s that the temple re-emerged from the jungle when French scholars carefully documented and conserved their discoveries at Praia Khan. Today, the temple is again thriving, a must-see visit on any trip to Angkor. Praia Khan's main entrance lies beyond a wide stone causeway that crosses the temple's moat. The causeway is lined with a row of serene divinities on the left and snarling demons on the right. Both groups wrestle with a giant naga, or snake god, representing the passage from the world of men into the world of the gods. Visitors to Angkor quickly discover that reaching the central shrines of the temples often requires walking through a series of ceremonial gates known as gopuras. Flanking the eastern gopura at Praia Khan stand two enormous sandstone garudas, the mythical Hindu bird-like creatures that were ridden by Vishnu. In all, there are 72 of these 15-foot high sculptures that guard the outer temple wall. Passing through the eastern gate, you enter the fourth enclosure, the area of the temple where everyday domestic life took place. It's here that you'll find the Dharmasala, or House of Fire, so-called because it's believed to be a temple that once housed a sacred flame. To the west stands the gate to the third enclosure, the most elaborate gopura at Praia Khan. Its three imposing towers and the small pavilions that connect them span over 300 feet. Most of the gopura's external wall surfaces are adorned with bas reliefs and false windows that were carved in place after the walls were built from rough cut sandstone blocks. Beyond the gopura lies the Hall of Dancers, a large vaulted space with eight exquisite lintels depicting celestial dancers. The hall is one of the first structures you pass through in the complex, so it may have been a place where worshippers presented offerings of food, gifts, and dance to the king and his divinities. Though the hall is open to the sky today, it was most likely once covered with a wooden roof. To the right looms the two-story pavilion, a unique structure unlike any other at Angkor. It was long believed that the pavilion housed the Praia Khan, or Sacred Sword, carried by the king in ceremonial processions. Nearby is the niche that once held the Praia Khan Stele, a sandstone pillar covered with finely carved Sanskrit poetry. The poems are composed of blessings to the gods, accounts of the founding of the temple, and descriptions of the locations of the 515 divinities once housed at Praia Khan. Many years ago, the Stele was moved to Phnom Penh to protect it from the elements. At the very heart of the temple lies the central sanctuary. Inscriptions on the Praia Khan Stele tell us that a divinity carved in the likeness of King Jayavarman VII's father originally stood at its center. Today, the sanctuary houses a simple stupa built in the 16th century. Though now austere, the interior of the central tower was once highly ornate, decorated with embossed bronze panels. Three small temples surround the central shrine. The North Temple is dedicated to Shiva, the South Temple to the memories of deceased kings and queens, and the Western Temple to Vishnu. Moving westward through the fourth enclosure, you'll encounter a small visitor center sponsored by World Monuments Fund. Inside, interpretive displays tell of the long-storied history of Praia Khan, and also detail the conservation work that WMF has been carrying out at the site for over 20 years. Offerings of food and gifts and the sight of local residents deep in prayer remind us that Praia Khan is still a powerfully sacred place today, working in close collaboration with the APSERA National Authority and with support from generous donors, World Monuments Fund is committed to preserving and protecting this unparalleled treasure for generations to come.